just because in the title I said inheritance, you don't need to get stiff up, lose up. It's easy and I know you have heard all the wrong things about inheritance, polymorphism and abstraction, all these jargon words, but the concepts are really, really simple. Let me show you and you're gonna love this one here. So notice here, first and foremost, what we did so far. So we have this class here, user, and just like uh, you can inherit property or maybe some car, nice ones, from your parents, similarly, you can use any class to inherit uh, anything here from this particular class. So all you have to do is become child of that class, similarly. So let's see how that works actually. And to be honest, in JavaScript, it's super easy. And with me, anything is super easy. Let me show you that. Let's just say this is the user class that we have got. And this user class is gonna have a new method. We're gonna call this one as login. There we go. All it does is actually it returns us a string and that string simply says, uh, you are logged in. Nothing wrong, we have seen this hundreds of times. This is not really freaky. Now, how do we create a class? We simply go ahead and say class. Then we simply say, let's just call this class as sub admin. And there we go. This is how we create the class. If you want any class to inherit some of the properties, then you simply write the keyword which says extends. And then you simply go ahead and name the class. I want to inherit from user. So extend this class to the user. And what happens with that is everything uh, all the properties and objects and methods and whatever is defined, now sub-admin can use it. Let me show you that, but first let's have some of the information here as well. A simple method that says get admin info, which is not really a big deal. We're gonna have this one, we're gonna simply have a keyword return, and I'm, I'm gonna simply say that I am sub-admin. Big deal? No, not at all. Now how we can create object from this one here? That's the most interesting thing. It's exactly the same. That's the interesting thing. Let's just say that we are gonna create an object, hmm, Tom, from Tom and Jerry. And we're gonna simply say, create an object, use the keyword new, and they say, this is gonna be a sub-admin. Now, what's the most interesting part is that if I log the information and I say Tom dot, and I call the method, which I called get sub-admin, get admin info, there we go, I can run this. But what's the most interesting thing is I can come here and I can use the method which I have never defined inside this class. For example, I can say Tom dot get info, not info, get admin info, get info as well. Come on, get info. Did I call it as get info? Yep, this is the one. And this is defined inside the user and not in the sub admin. So I'm able to get that information. Not only that, I'm gonna go ahead and say that get me more information, tom.login. So Tom is gonna be able to log in. Now let's run this code and this is gonna be most fun one here. So we're gonna simply up arrow and run this one here. Notice here it started to say, and I can actually comment these ones. Uh, yep, I can actually comment all of them so that it doesn't really bother us much. There we go, save that. And yes, we can still create object from above class, no big deal. So first and foremost, at line number 38, it says, yes, I'm a sub-admin. It says you are logged in. So we are able to use the above method as well as the method from the same class. But there are some issues in the get info because above we say that, hey, you have to actually use it by providing me this and this. But in the sub-admin or the extended class, we have never actually put up any rule or any way to handle this information. But still, we are able to use it. That's the most important thing. So it would be really good if we are able to fix this problem or this small bug here. Surely we can do that. And we can still take advantage of this above class and the method. Surely 100% you can copy this constructor here and can paste it. But imagine if there would be like much more going on in here. Further inside the constructor, a few more method calls and a bunch of random gibberish is going on. So in that case, if you don't want to take too much of the headache, what you can do is you can create your constructor uh, just like this, and there we go. So what are the parameters which are expected from you while defining a constructor or a new object is being created? I say that, hey, just give me a name and give me an email. Now, once you have got all of that information, you can simply call a keyword super, which is a method, not exactly a keyword, and you can simply pass on that name and email. 
same name and email that you're getting while creating it. And that's it. Now, I don't have any headache that what this above class is doing with name and email. I said, hey, the above class which I'm extending need these two information. I'm gonna call it a day just by calling them in the constructor and passing them just here with the super keyword. And by the way, with the super keyword, you can access a lot of things there. So I highly recommend to read a little bit more onto that. Now, what this allows us is to fix this issue by passing up a name for here, Tom, and probably an email, Tom at the rate uh, jerry.com, big fan by the way. So we can save this and we can run this one up here and we can see that this issue is fixed. Now don't just consider this as a small issue. The above class might be inside a library, might be, it might be inside a function or maybe something else. It might be doing tons of gibberish. I don't really care. I just get it just like that. But now there is another issue. Where is the privacy? I just simply say that any object who is created from the user class should be able to access certain methods. Maybe, maybe this login method, I don't want to share it. You don't get everything inside in the inheritance uh, from the parents. So you don't want this one to get like anybody comes up and say extend users. I just don't want that. In case you want to do that, then you can just put a keyword which is static. Now static simply means that hey, this is private property, standoff. Even sons, grandson, whoever is coming up, stay away. You cannot inherit this one. The rest of the things I'm okay, but this is very, very personal information. I don't want to share this one. So now if we run the same code here again, notice it gives me an error that says, I don't know what's tom.login because you don't have access in the parent class. You have never defined this one up here, but you got it. So there we go. And this is not it. There is a lot of things that we do up here. And one thing that you might haven't noticed here, which we, which we have already done. Now notice here, uh, the constructor was there in the parent class and constructor which we are getting up here as well. Now let me show you something very interesting. Now, can I access login? Yes, of course, 100% I can do it. Save that and now let's bring up some of the confusion because what's the fun without having confusion? Now I go into the sub-admin class, I come up here and I define another login and I come up here and I return this like this and I'm gonna say login for admin only. Now, guess what's going to happen? Now Tom is getting a login access but whose login is gonna run? This login or maybe something else? Let's go ahead and run this and get the confusion right out of the box. Now notice here it says login for admin only. So if for some reason there is a method in the user class and you want to override that method, you are 100% allowed to do. And JavaScript is smart enough that yes, for some reason if you are using the same name and you are writing something different up here, then you probably want to use this because the object is created from this class, not from the user class. This is just extended. So in this case, there's no confusion. JavaScript is super smart for that. And by the way, you can use a bits and pieces of this super keyword here as well. And you can do a whole lot of stuff, uh, not like that. You can use a whole lot of stuff, but I'm gonna leave that as your study material. Too much of the spoon feeding is really bad. So I'm gonna give you a small assignment, just explore this one and the best place to explore that how and why this is going on. You probably will find something on the Stack Overflow. But again, don't stress out too much. I think some people can help you in the comment section as well. But this was a fun video on inheritance and you learned so much of the things. Just to give you a quick reminder, uh, we, got learned, we got to learn about the super keyword. We got to learn about the static keyword as well and a bunch of other information about overriding and some of the constructor overriding as well. So that's your quick summary for that. Okay, so hit that subscribe button if you haven't already and we're gonna catch up in the next video.